Well, good Saturday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. You know, um, Philly 500, you know, they've got a rough game. You know, they got Jordan Mulata and Dallas Goddard are both going to be out tomorrow. And <clears throat> surprisingly, their defensive front has given up more yards per rush than ours, which is kind of crazy when you start thinking about it. Be that as it may, Philly 500 asked me about, he heard that Jerry Jones didn't want to sign Dak Prescott. And I was like, I hadn't heard that. And so I started doing some investigation and trying to figure out exactly what's talking about here. Because I'm sitting here thinking, Jerry Jones has already put it out there that, you know, remember, Jerry Jones ended up saying that he was, you know, the best person to do the job and this, that, and the other. And nobody has shot more guns or whatever it was that he had. You know, he was speaking outside of his neck, on the side of his neck and stuff. But basically telling everybody you know, that he's the one in charge. And when you listen to him with uh, 105.3 to fan, he let it know, let it be known that you can't be questioning me. Hell no. So I'm trying to understand is how is it that he didn't want to sign Dak, but he did. You've never really cared about what anybody else thought before. So why are you caring now? But this is where it came from was Brian Brodus with Kavanaugh talking about it two days ago. So let's listen to what they were talking about here and see if it holds water. I think Jerry was over there with the front office sitting down and talking about things. And maybe there's a side of him that didn't want to pay Dak Prescott $60 million and didn't want to pay CeeDee Lamb $35 million. You know, maybe he thought, let's ride this thing out and let's see. I, I, you know, let's see. I got Mike McCarthy on a one-year deal. Let's see. I think there was a side of Jerry Jones that didn't want to do a lot of these things. And his lieutenants, people in the organization, uh, convinced him to do it. Yeah, we need to sign. Dad, Dad, we need to sign Dak. We need to sign CD. We need to do these things. And... These guys aren't playing particularly great for him right now. And he was in the mode of maybe arguing like, listen, we could let this thing ride and try and redo it all. We could, we could let it ride, try. And, and they said, no, no, we can't do that. We got we to gotta stay the course. We gotta. It's very similar to how they got to the Johnny Manziel decision or other decisions, Zach Martin, you know, those decisions that they get to, that Jerry – there was a side of Jerry that thought, are we really doing the right thing? And the guys in his inner circle convinced him, yeah. So now he's taking a lot of heat for the way the team looks when in actuality he was thinking, I could rebuild this thing or I could try to rebuild this thing and I don't have to pay this quarterback $60 million and I don't have to. It, I just – and now – he can't come out and say, you know, he kept bringing up the fact of Dak's contract. He kept bringing up CD's contract. You know, he kept bringing that up. And it just made me think that maybe Jerry was against doing this and he got convinced to do it. And now he's having to take the arrows for it. Does Make sense? Make sense no, yeah, I think that makes sense. The only thing that... Um I would tell Jerry about that. I would say when your ego is as big as it is and you demand the title that says GM, yeah. that's what you, you get this. You get to be GM. but You get all of this. Yeah. They're, they're, um, but no, I think that makes sense. I, uh, I only say this, yet because of my experience, and this my experience with Jerry Jones was a long time ago. Last time it was 2005. I remember how we always feared the last person that talked to Jerry. <laughs> Give you a great example. DeMarcus Ware was drafted because of Rick Goslin got to Jerry last. That was the that was the deciding factor on a, the night before the draft. We were we were talking about Merriman and Ware. And Rick Goslin pushed that thing over the top. A lot of moves we've made. I mean, he came out one time at a press conference, really pissed the scouts off. 
you know, talked about DeMarco Murray. He goes, God, Barry Switcher gave us the best scouting report on DeMarco <laughs> Murray. That's the reason why we drafted DeMarco Murray. Boy, we love DeMarco Murray. And the scouts are like, damn, did a lot of work on DeMarco Murray, <laughs> you know? You yeah, always Barry fear Switcher the last you always fear always the last, fear the last person, person that gets to Jerry, good or bad. Hmm. And maybe and Jerry is a listener. He will listen. I'll never forget Jim Garrett sat there and told us that Drew Henson was the next Troy Aikman. Hell yeah. Hmm. Jerry Jerry's glasses were on the end of his nose and he looked up at, at Garrett like, Really? You know, all was that you know, that's all it took. Sean Payton looked at me and goes, We're effed. We're effed. <laughs> oh no. You know? Oh no. And so, you know, that's kind of where you know, it, there's a lot of the there's a lot of things that Jerry will he, he always talked about. He's got guys around the league, Belichick, Parcells. He's got people that tell him, you know, thing, give him advice and stuff. This one might have been where he got advice on all this, and it's not playing out to how everybody told him it was going to play out. Well, I'm sure it's not fun to have your best, highest paid players not, not play, help not carry well. your team. Because yeah. I yeah. mean, Which I was looking true. at it yesterday. Again, over the cap, and mm -hmm. uh, like your highest paid players are like Zach, other than Dak, Zach Martin, oh, yeah. Terrence Steele, yeah, Donovan Wilson's up there. Yeah. They get a lot of digs, digs. A lot of your highest paid yeah. players aren't helping you, and yeah. when you don't have a talented team and your best guys aren't helping you, good yeah. effing luck. Shout out to Alec in the super chat. Yeah, I felt like he kind of defended Dak. He did say he has to play better, but guys have to block better for him, and guys have to run the right routes. I do think even you, you could. If everything that you are laying out is how it actually is, how it went, and what's going on theory, in Jerry's brain, just a theory. My this is all just my right. My theory of working for the man for fourteen years, right? And that theory, if that theory were to track and were to check out, it also, what you mentioned, like he still would have to defend Dak at least somewhat on the radio. Because you're not going to destroy your quarterback who's going to be here for the next four no, years. But he he has to he you know But he, he wants to fire his little shot. <laughs> well, no, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he's you know, he I, I just believe that that there's a side of Jerry that he he does. He listens and 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 it makes me wonder if in fact that he's like, listen, let's let this thing ride. You know, they this thing this thing went all the way to the day before training camp, before we got on a plane and went to Oxnard. Yeah, you know the CD Lamb thing was a holdout right before the season. What happened? I mean, there's probably a side of Jerry that's like, "F this," you know. Well, then why didn't let's he let F this it? thing ride? Let's 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 try and you know they never want to talk about a rebuild or anything like that. All this would be not a problem at all if 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 Jerry would come out and say we're rebuilding this year. We're not good enough. There you go. And didn't we're, he kind of sort of admit it? A week or two ago, like you didn't I, disagree yeah. with the word soft rebuild. Like no. you can just look at the way that they're okay. doing things, yeah. and it's hard to say that. So okay, so here here's my thoughts on this. Then I, it, I I don't I don't have a problem if you're going to actually come up with the plan and then do it. Where I have a problem with it, and, and, you know, I, I may not agree with the idea that Dak Prescott should have walked, although for Dak Prescott's opportunity to get a Super Bowl ring, it probably would have been. Enhanced had he gone someplace else, and maybe it would have gotten people to appreciate that Dak was helping to hold this team together. But be that as it may, I don't have a problem if you said, we're going to rebuild. Mike McCarthy, you're fired. We're going to get the new coach in here. We're going to go ahead and evaluate talent, and we're going to try and build something you know, for down the road. That's a plan. But if you decided, I'm going to sign Dak and CD, then that's saying we're still trying to do something right now. Then why aren't you trying to do something now? You only went, you, you basically went half ass on either a rebuild or half ass on trying to play competent this year. Pick a side, just pick a side. You know, it, 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 the, the, there's a lot of players out there that some people say I just don't that they're great players. I just don't want that guy. He's not my kind of guy, and I can understand that. But this whole thing of half ass and and then being mad that it's blown up in your face, well, that's on you, bro. That's on you. If you had said to everybody, listen, we're not going to pay $60 million to Dak Prescott. He's going to, you know, he's gone. Mike McCarthy, he's got, you know, 36 wins in the last couple of years, but I'm not satisfied. I want to go in another direction. People would at least say, okay, all right, 
you know, we know we're going to be bad this year, but we'll see what you do. But the thing you've done is you've been, you've made it so we're bad this year and prolonged the building. That's the problem that I have. So there we are. And I see Ernie, the Cowboy fans is saying the Cowboys contacted uh, New Orleans about Alvin Kamara. Yeah. Funny. The link doesn't exist, which sounds about fitting. All right, good people. As always, you know, I appreciate you guys. And uh, you know how this season has been. This season has not been good at all. Peace out.